TV! If you are a fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Pitch TV Show. Now, if you found our show on Facebook, MySpace, or another video sharing site, please check out our website, fastpitch.tv. It's the place to find all our past episodes and the place to keep up with our future episodes, too. Now, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Softball Junk. Please visit their website, well, it's softballjunk.com, of course. Now, have you heard of Softball Con? It's happening at the end of January in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, if you're not familiar with it, you need to go check it out right now. Now, Softball Con is scheduled for January 28th and January the 29th. It's a two-day softball conference with tons of great speakers. It's for both coaches and players alike. Visit their website, softballcon.net, and see for yourself. Now, I'm taking the Fast Pitch TV cameras there, so if you go to the conference, make sure to come up to me and say hello. I love it when people tell me they watch this show. It makes it all seem worth it, okay? So check out Softball Con. Now, let's talk about today's show. This summer, I was at the Softball World Cup in Oklahoma City. During the event, they had the Battle of the Borders, which is the USA Men's National Slow Pitch team playing against the Canadian men's national slow pitch team. If you want to see some home runs hit, this is the place to go to. I mean, we're talking almost over the fence almost every hit. Now, while there, I interviewed USA pitcher Scott Brown. He was wearing a face-off face guard while he was on the plate, and I wanted to talk to him about it. So let's go to that interview right after this word from our sponsor. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. Oh, great game today. It was a great game. You guys are probably some of the most Awesome home run hitters I have ever seen. I think I've never seen so many home runs. Tell me about that. Well, it, it was it was a great game. It was a it was a great game for softball and I on the home run end of things. I mean, the ball was flying, wind was blowing out, so it was a, a well played game by both sides. So, what's it like to be at that level in softball where you are on the national team of the United States in softball? I tell you what, it's the uh, the ultimate honor to wear the red, white, and blue and uh, to play for my country. I served the country when I was in the Marine Corps. Um, and to play for the country, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. Now, I noticed something. I was sitting in the audience just watching the game just like anyone else, and I looked down there, and you're wearing a face mask. Now, I've seen a lot of people wear face masks. I've seen people wear catcher's masks. I've seen pitchers wear helmets. But you're wearing an official mask for infielders. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, you know what? What I like about it, it's it's lightweight. It's not you know the the construction of a catcher's helmet. It's a lot and, heavier. And this is it here. This is it right here. Yeah, this is uh, the construction. The, the nice thing about it is it, the protection of it does it does protect the temples. It protects the forehead. Um, so anything hit right at your face, that's got a movable jaw here, so I can talk. So I'm not constricted. Or if I'm talking, the the mask isn't rising up. Um, you know, it's just a great mask. It's, it's got to be a lot more comfortable than someone wearing a full catcher's helmet out there. You know what? I was a catcher growing up, too. So, yeah, wearing a full catcher's helmet, you know, it gets really warm in there. Um, the hockey-style helmet, it, it gets warm. The, the vision isn't as good either. You don't have the professional vision like on this one where, you know, it cuts back all the way. So you can, you know, it's just like wearing, not wearing a mask. And for those of you who may not know, it's dangerous out there nowadays on the pitcher's mound. you got to have some protection. You know what? Um, I think, the, to be honest with you, I, I wish every pitcher would wear one. I know they weren't wearing one uh, during the game there, but I wish everybody would for the safety of the game. You know, the bats are so good these days. The balls are so good these days. Um, and the last thing you want to do is uh, see a pitcher get hit. I've seen a couple get hit, uh, you know, one, one last year that, uh, you know, and I said I'll never not go to the mound ever again without wearing one. And uh, I, there was a couple incidents this year that pitchers luckily had the, the facial protection on and, that, uh, and they've gotten hit in the face. So. Well, with these bats and the technology of the day, this isn't your granddaddy's softball game. No, it isn't. It's not the, the old days when even when I first started, uh, you know, we were using 32-ounce bats and they're aluminum. And, and now we're using composite, high composite material where the bats are going to continue to get better and better. 
and the balls are continue to get better and better. The ball we used here was actually a great ball because I think it uh, it changes the complexity of the game a little bit as far as you have to hit it to hit it, and if you don't, you don't. So Now, now what's the name of this mask? I know it's by Combat. It is a Combat face-off mask. Um, you know, we've done uh, a lot of lab testing in there and, and, and really seeing the future of the, of the mask, you know, especially uh, girls fast pitch to youth baseball to even men's slow pitch on the pitcher side of things. And uh, uh, one of the teams we played out here earlier this uh, was Fence Brokers and their shortstop was wearing a face mask. And it's just, uh, it, it really safety. And then the testing that went into this thing is, is ball shot out of a cannon from a side, from a side view and the front view. Um, at 70 miles an hour to see what type of damage done against our competition and a lot of R&D went into this thing as far as being the you know the cream of the crop when it comes to face masks. Speaking of a shortstop now I know in some youth leagues and girl leagues it's the rule that the pitcher short and pitchers in the infield have to wear these now. Absolutely we had uh, we had a group out of Washington uh, actually come to us uh, because all their infielders and the pitchers and the infielders had to use the mask. And that's, I think they're starting to make it a little bit more mandatory out the, at the youth age. You know, you never know on a bad hop, you know, and at a, you know, an MSRP of uh, $79.99 on the mask, I mean, what price do you want to pay for safety? You know, you can go with the $40 mask of the other, you know, the, of the other manufacturers, but uh, we really put a little, R, lot of R&D work into this mask and, uh, and you're paying for safety. You know, in fast pitch, uh, they have to wear in high school and down masks now. It's the rules, they have to. Correct. But I don't think people think about that ball. It's like uh, an equation equal and opposite reaction that ball is coming off just as fast and you don't know where it's going you know what and, and i tell you what it's not even so much the line drives and the ones i mean it's the bad hops the bad hops are the ones that get you on top of it so you know do you want to pay ten thousand dollars for some dental work or a nose job or 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 you know anything like that or broken jaw you know safety first well speaking of a bad hop then this could actually make you a better player because how many times have we seen youth pull their head at the last minute because they know that ball absolutely and now they're not as scared and don't have to pull their head absolutely you know now they know that they're protected they're going to put you know like we always say put your face in front of it you know that's a, that's a good way to say it. like i said i saw you wearing this mask and you're the first guy i've seen wearing a mask for infielders yeah. specifically so i want to take time and and have you tell our audience about it and i appreciate you coming over and talking to us about it thank you gary appreciate okay. it there you go. Appreciate it. Nice awesome. and sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I enjoyed meeting Scott Brown. It was great watching all those home runs being hit. Now, before I close the show, I want to tell you about another new show I've created called The Cranky Coach Starring Crank Coach V. Now, if you want to see Cranky Coach, go to crankycoach.com. I think you're going to enjoy it. I also want to make sure everyone who has an iPhone or Android phone knows about our app. Just go to your phone's app store, search softball, and you'll find it and check that out too. Don't forget to check out our website at fastpitch.tv. Become a fan of the show on Facebook at facebook.com slash fastpitchtv or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. And I want to thank all the people uh, that have helped us in the last couple of weeks. I've asked everybody to go to a friend's Facebook page and tell them whether you post it on their page or whether you message them, tell them about our Facebook page and our Facebook numbers are really growing, you can tell. So I'm gonna ask you again, Go to somebody you know on Facebook and tell them about our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash fastpitchtv, and help us grow, and I do appreciate the help y'all been giving us. Thanks a lot, and until next week, thanks for watching.